Hello, hello, hello. It is late, a later night here uh, in the central part of America. I'm coming to you live because, well, the truth is, is I should really do more lives as we prepare for travels to Rio de Janeiro uh, for next year's carnival. Hello, iBarnes underscore photos. Uh, I wanted to come in and actually uh, give a quick message this week. Uh, our uh, lives will be de dedicated primarily to busting these myths about Brazil. And as people pile into the room, uh, Chef Telfer, uh, S F U. SDPE uh, joined. Uh, hello, 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 everyone. Uh, as I stated, you know, the goal, oh, you're in Atlanta. Okay, good deal. Uh, good to have you join the quick live. Uh, you know, as we uh, march closer by the months to our trip to Rio de Janeiro for the world's biggest carnival, it happens in February of next year, early February of uh, 2024. We've opened registration. We have people who are uh, registering. And so if you are interested in joining and being a part of this experience, you should definitely register. So with that being said, we get a number of questions that come uh, from you know different people who are curious and contemplating joining the trip. And one of the things that is really, really common that we get um, is kind of like a question, but kind of like a comment uh, at the same time as we get a lot of uh, ladies and even some brothers commenting about how the when it comes to travel to Rio, it's, it's so um, sexy. And by being so sexy, uh, a lot of women have this mindset. Uh, hey, making sure you see, see me and I do see you. I hope you're well. Um, you know, a lot of times people make this assumption that you have to take special precautions, uh, when you go to Brazil that you don't have to take, uh, in your everyday life. So I say this to say this whole idea and mindset about how you got to watch your man when, uh, he's in Brazil or you're in Brazil for the ladies. Um, I'll say it's a myth because I guess if you have the type of man that you got to watch, uh, here in the States, then of course you would naturally have to watch him, uh, in, uh, uh, you know, you, of course you'd have to watch him in Brazil and probably every other place, but I would argue that that's probably not the best person for, uh, you ladies to be with somebody you got all the time watch. Hello, 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 uh, Facebook friend. Um, whoever that is, um, uh, when I say, uh, about when I speak on watching your man, uh, in Brazil, specifically to the ladies and a note to the men, you know, it's one of those things that me as a woman, having been to Brazil for many years, very consistently, sometimes multiple times, uh, throughout the year, you know, we know about, uh, the things that Brazil is known for, of course, uh, we know about the sexual tourism, uh, that is, you know, oftentimes talked about, uh, you know, but I, I say it, it's no more of a concern than any other place you visit. I mean, we actually attract, uh, quite a number of couples who come, uh, and experience Brazil together and create those amazing memories, not just, uh, couples, but, uh, married, uh, couples who've been married for, uh, I think upwards of 20 plus years for some of our, our, our husband and wife couples. Um, and so I say that to say this, ladies and gentlemen, I would consider to be a bit of a myth because it's no more, you don't have to watch your man any more or less than you would have to watch him in any other place in the world, including your own backyard. Um, and so uh, I thought this would be a great uh, myth to kind of start off with because Brazil is just as much inviting to those of you who are women who would love to come and visit and experience 
experience a different culture, a different scenery, uh, as it is for the men. You know, the men uh, obviously have embraced it. And I understand why men embrace Brazil as much as they do. Uh, I, I wish more women would embrace it because the men in Brazil are just as warm and welcoming as the beautiful women are. And the men are just as handsome <laughs> as uh, they are in, in here in the United States and other parts of the world. And so it's just a fantastic place to visit. Definitely join us. I, again, I'm trying to challenge myself and push myself to come on, especially this week, and bust up a lot of these random myths and comments that oftentimes keep being said as a way of, you know, people having a natural curiosity partly a natural curiosity and the other part is not so much as a natural curiosity but a little bit of a concern uh as to whether or not they should join uh this amazing beautiful experience and so email us at black travelers network at gmail.com if you'd like details on how you can join our amazing uh celebration of life fun excitement in next year's carnival experience and so until uh the next live hopefully it's tomorrow hopefully i'll come on tomorrow and i'll bust up another myth and so until next time uh hi slide uh slide dot little i'll i'll see you guys next time and um yeah you're all invited to come to the carnival the world's largest uh festival a celebration, a parade, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we, we welcome you. We invite you and email us for details. All right. I'll talk to you guys soon.